Welcome back to class. Now, last lesson, you learned the meaning of trading, profit, and loss account. In this lesson, I'll be teaching you another topic, which is entrepreneurship. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to give the meaning of entrepreneurship, explain who an entrepreneur is, define the term self-employment and enterprise, and finally, the facilities available for self-employment. This, this lesson is on entrepreneurship. Are going to learn about entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is a process of starting a new business. Entrepreneurship can be defined as the act or process of starting a new business or we can say entrepreneurship is the process of designing, launching, and running a new business. You look around your area, look at the things that are missing, and the ability you put in to begin that business to satisfy the needs or wants in your environment is referred to as entrepreneurship. Once again, entrepreneurship is the act or process of starting a business. All right, that would take us to who an entrepreneur is. Entrepreneur is a person who sets up a business or businesses. This person Put the factors of production together to begin a business. And these factors of production include the land, labor, capital, and then the entrepreneur. So the entrepreneur is a person who starts the business. This entrepreneur could be a man or a woman. So, entrepreneur is the person that begins or starts the business. He bears the risk alone. He puts the capitals together to begin this business. He sources for laborers to begin the business. So, this person is referred to as an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur, like I said earlier, could be a male or a female the important thing is anybody can be an entrepreneur whether as a man or a woman you can be an entrepreneur all right the next we are going to look at is enterprise enterprise is also known as a company or a business and then self-employment refers to you working for your own self than working for another or an employer. You begin the business, you work solely for yourself and you do not want to be employed by anybody. You want to work for yourself as an entrepreneur. But there are facilities available for self-employment. These facilities aid the success of your business when you are self-employed you need the following facilities to be successful in this area you have chosen to be self-employed these facilities are you need a good road good road when your road is good it will bring more customers to you and it will ease your business because this will enable you 
get the goods to your organization or your business successfully. The next facility you need here is water. You need water in your business. When you are self-employed, you need water. Water can help in making your business successful when you are self-employed. The next one we are looking at is power so every business needs light you need power you need electricity power supply to enable the business go on smoothly without light it is difficult most of the equipment we use in our organizations need light and so power supply is a necessity when you work in your organization the next thing you need here is communication facilities. When you have good communication facilities, this will enable you to communicate with your customers. And this will also enhance your business. You could go online. Telephone is not the only facility we need to communicate. You can use the internet to communicate. All right. And after that, you need security. You need to be guided, you need to be protected, and your customers must be assured that the environment is safe for them to patronize you. You need security when you are self-employed. And then let's look at successful entrepreneurs. We are successful entrepreneurs in our environment or our locality. There are successful entrepreneurs in Nigeria you will also learn some successful entrepreneurs international. But in this class, we'll be looking at, first of all, successful entrepreneurs in your locality. Your locality here talks about Benin City. All right, so successful entrepreneurs in your locality. For example, let us begin with our immediate environment your school we have successful entrepreneur like the MD or CEO of GTBA he's known as Elder Pius or Morfoma he's the owner of GT Plaza Benin City the next is professor and mrs. Urewu the proprietor and proprietress of University Preparatory Secondary School, also known as UPSS, in Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. And then the next Nigerian entry we'll be looking at in this class is Aliko Dangote. Aliko Dangote is a successful entrepreneur in Nigeria, known in every household. He's the owner of Dangote Group of Companies. So he's one of our successful entrepreneurs in Nigeria. And then we go to international entrepreneurs. We have Oprah Whitfrey, a successful entrepreneur in the United States of America. She's into entertainment. All right. This is a successful entrepreneur. The second we are going to look at, at international successful entrepreneurs, Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook. Most of you use your Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg is the MD or CEO of Facebook. Now we are looking at importance of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is very important because it contributes a large share of new job. Entrepreneurship helps to generate economic growth. Entrepreneurship promotes use of local resources. Then functions of an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is an innovator who tries to develop new technology, products, markets. An entrepreneur is a risk taker or takes risks 
in doing new things. He decides on the type of products to produce. All right. From the lesson, I'm sure you have learned that an entrepreneur is the person that runs or that owns the organization. He is the risk bearer. And entrepreneurship is the process or act of beginning your business. And self-employment is simply being your own boss and the owner of your own organization. That is simply not working for anybody or working for yourself. There are facilities available for self-employment like good road, light, water, and the rest. You've also learned that enterprise could also be called a company. Please ensure you watch the video, understand the video before providing answers to the questions you see in the video. All right, that'll be the end of this lesson. I'll see you next class, but please, like I always say, stay safe.